is so exciting to be able to uh, be a part of the opening of this this theater, the Fringe Theater. I want to say thanks to Neil Gobioff and Daryl Shaw yeah. uh, for the part that they've played, and Chris and everybody else that has made this a possibility. It is so, so critically important to our community um, that we, we have art in every single form. Um, we focused our first four years in the administration on the issues that a lot of people find boring but are critically important to our community, transportation, affordable housing, workforce development, sustainability, resiliency, and we've made great progress in those areas. I'd like to say we've solved all the problems, but <laughs> we're continuing, we're on a good path with all of those, and so this next four years, we will have focused, very focused attention on the quality of life in our city and looking at our community. You know, things that bring a community together and allow everyone to express themselves and ensure that, um, you know, we're, we're incredibly inclusive in what we do here in our community. And speaking of the arts, we funded uh, through the CRA just in the downtown area the expansion of the Tampa Museum. That's going to be just a world-renowned uh, museum when they're finished with the expansion. The Performing Arts Center, we just had as our staff presentation today at Tampa Theater, and we had um, $14 million to Tampa Theater, and they are redoing all of the artwork. There's been a lot of work done on that. First air-conditioned building in the state of Florida. <laughs> and honestly, I think they still have the same air conditioning. <laughs> from 1926. But anyway, you know, making sure that there is funding for all of the projects, large and small, and especially with arts and culture. I don't want to make everybody look the room too long, but it, I just fundamentally, I, I can't, I can't, say how important arts and culture are to society. Um, you know, you, many of you have heard me say, it, throughout history, if a country invades another country, what's the first thing they try to destroy? Their art, so they can go at the very heart of that, that society. And so we have to make sure that we preserve not only our history, but that we grow into the future with arts in every single format. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for coming out here and, um, and helping us celebrate this milestone event in Fringe's history, uh, what, what I'm sure will be the start of many more um, uh, milestone so, events. So. Um, this is how this night works. If you've never been to the preview night before, what we're going to see is we're going to see two minutes of each show um, in the festival. That is 32 shows. There might be one or two that provide a video. There might be one that somebody's going to like speak on their behalf or something but for the most part you're going to actually see two minutes of everybody's show so you can, that can help inform your choices of what shows you need to see in the next five nights including tonight let's welcome to the stage paul strickland with fantastical tales